Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Wednesday the 19th of February 2020. Please keep in mind that this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and this is an intuitive reading. Now I'm using the Psychic Tarot Oracle along with the tea leaves, and I will be using the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot for your daily general messages. All right, so let's see what energies we have come up for Wednesday. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, we have spiritual strength coming up here. Powerful energy. Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's pull some tea leaf. All right, Spirit, what do we need to know? Wednesday, the 19th. Thank you, Spirit. Alright, so we've got older woman, we have kangaroo, we have the sun, and we have basket. Alright, <clears throat> give me just a moment. Thank you, Spirit. You guys can hear Gizzy running around down here underneath the table with her little bell on. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Spirit. Wednesday, the 19th. What do we need to know? Wednesday, the 19th. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Wednesday the 19th. All right, we are ready. All right, we have the Five of Pentacles. We have Justice. We have the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Fool. We have the Seven of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Five of Cups, and we have the Nine of Cups. All right. Give me just a moment, you guys. So we have the number sequence here. Five, six, and seven. All right, so we have two fives, the number 55. We have two nines, the number 99. I always tell you guys go and Google the angel number meaning because it will bring more clarity into your situation. Now, spiritual strength is coming up here. This is a powerful energy. This is the energy of the hermit. Okay, so we have Virgo energy coming through here as well. Um, I feel like for some of you, you are definitely maybe going in and out of hermit mode, especially today. Uh, I feel like you're checking in with yourself. Uh, you're seeking out your own inner guidance instead of seeking guidance and answers from other people is what I'm getting here. And I feel like you taking this time to check in with yourself, this enlightenment gains, and it's going to allow for you, especially if you have a decision to make about something, you're going to figure out and realize which direction or which path to take here, okay? Now, another thing I am getting here, for some of you, you're taking time out, going in and out of hermit mode to gain a sense of peace and patience with yourself, okay? Some of you are doing meditation, yoga, it's that type of energy. Now... We're going to do the kangaroo first. Unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. All right. This isn't going to be for everyone. I feel like something has already happened. Now, it, it could mean many different things. Uh, each of you have different situations. But I, what I'm getting here, this could be an unexpected bill that comes up. This could be car related. 
okay? And I really feel like it's going to be very important that you have a backup plan, all right? So let's just say if your tire goes flat and you don't have the money to get it fixed until Friday, you want to make sure that there's someone you can call quickly that's going to be able to get you to your job and maybe your kids to school as well. Um, you know, and this definitely could be an unexpected bill. Now, I am getting a sense here. Give me just a moment with this older woman. Dealings or relationship with an older woman is coming through here. And this is very interesting because I feel like these two are going to, are, are hand in hand here. Unsettled times. Need to plan ahead. Now, you could be dealing with the elderly. You could have an elderly grandmother or father. This could be a man as well. Um, this could be an elderly mother or father. I feel, you know, this is only going to be for one or two of you. Um, I feel like there could be a rough, a rough patch up ahead. And there could be a decision that has to be made maybe about the, uh, what is the word I'm looking for here? Caregiving of this person, okay? And this could, you know, bring about some anxiety, some unsettled times as well. Thank you, Spirit. So, I'm going to lay this aside because that message isn't for everyone. Now, this older woman, dealings or relationship with an older woman, you know, you could be dealing with somebody that is like a mentor, a teacher. Uh, this could be a mother figure in your life as well. This could even be an attorney or somebody that's going to help you seek justice in a current situation. Um, I feel like this person has got your back. They're very trustworthy. Um, you know, I feel like you go to them for guidance um, and they help guide you. Now, this could be a boss, okay? And I'm getting for maybe one or two of you, this person right here could be somebody you have recently met or you're going to meet within the next few days that's going to be offering you a job, okay? Thank you, Spirit. You guys, Gizzy doesn't bark normal, so it's, I don't know <laughs> what that sound may sound like to you guys. I promise you she's not choking. She's down there having the time of her life and uh, playing with her little toys, but it sounds, it sounds crazy. So just bear with me. Now we have basket, recognition, reward for merit. So this is very positive. For some of you, this definitely uh, could be you receiving a pay raise, a promotion. Um, you're getting recognized for your work, okay? I feel like you've been working so hard. You have this Eight of Pentacles here as well. And I feel like that hard work is paying off here in some type of way. And I feel like this is more of a, you know, a career or job uh, situation here. Now, this could be you starting a business. You've already started a business and you're starting to see some type of financial growth and gain here. More clients, more contracts. People are noticing your work, okay, and they're coming to you. Now we have the sun, and this is just beautiful energy, happiness and well-being. And I also feel with the sun coming up here, this talks a lot, about, a lot about creativity, okay? And it's your creativity that shines. It's your creativity that's bringing in success, okay? So keep doing what you're doing. I feel for many of you, it's important for you to know that you are on the right path. I feel like... If there is some uncertainty in some situations that you could be going through this week, uh, just know that you are being divinely guided and you are protected. Thank you, Spirit. So now we have the Five of Pentacles clarified by the Seven of Cups. The Five of Pentacles is that energy of, it's a feeling of lack, okay? It's a feeling of, Maybe you've been putting in a lot of applications um, for work and you feel rejected because you haven't heard any news about 
what you put out. Uh, for some of you, definitely we're talking about hardships. We're talking about some financial setbacks, possibly. But I feel like it's already happened with this situation right here. Now, what's interesting is you have the Seven of Cups coming up here clarifying that Five of Pentacles. Oftentimes, when this Seven of Cups shows up, it talks about being a bit overwhelmed, maybe by things starting to come in, all right? Uh, maybe it was the applications that you've been putting out, looking for a career change, and all of a sudden, maybe in uh, one day, you know, you've been waiting two weeks to hear from somebody, right? And you've put all of these applications in, and then in one day, here comes all these applications and these people wanting an interview. And it's almost like overload here, <laughs> but it's in a good way. If you do feel overwhelmed, if you do feel like now you have many opportunities or possibilities that are becoming available to you, which is going to make you come out of this feeling of lack and hardship, um, make sure you check in with number one check in with yourself here go into hermit mode and this is where you're going to be able to figure out which direction or which path you're going to want to head in or go in okay always check in with yourself always listen to your intuition your own inner guidance okay uh, because that is something that we are born with it's our birthright and you know as long as you're listening to your inner guidance I feel like there is no wrong choice there is no wrong decision here you've got to learn to be able to trust yourself all right and always make sure that you pick or choose the best opportunity that's for the betterment of your situation that's also within reach and that's doable and practical so now we have justice and we have the six of Pentacles both of these are talking about balance, okay? Balancing a, uh, a legal situation, maybe it's an inheritance. Um, with justice coming up here, the energy of Libra, most definitely some of you could be dealing with a financial affair or, or legal situation that involves contracts. It involves making agreements with people. Uh, this could be you owning your own business and you're having clients come in and you're having to take care of paperwork, that type of energy as well. Those of you that have been waiting on some type of word about an inheritance or probate, anything legal, I do feel like, you know, somebody's going to be contacting you and it feels like this has been coming up a lot here lately. But just know that there's going to be fair agreements that are made here. Now, I am getting a sense here. You may feel a bit of injustice, okay? And it doesn't mean that what you're going after or what this, you know, legal situation is. It just that you're not going to win. That's not what I'm talking about. It just means that you may not possibly get as much as you thought you were going to get I feel like it's going to be balanced okay and I do feel like somebody is going to have a say in it and I do feel you know this older woman this just keeps coming up you guys um, this older woman I feel like has to do with this and uh, this could be someone making sure that things are fair and balanced that justice is being served that everybody that this involves is getting what's owed to them what's due to them no matter what the situation is okay now like I said a moment ago it may not be entirely what you wanted or expected but it's still going to be fair okay now the six of pentacles can oftentimes represent the energy of give and take as well making sure that there's balance between your give and take relationships because this talks about how generous you are make sure that if someone's taking from you and you know you're not 
balanced within that relationship. I know many of us, we give and we don't expect anything in return. But oftentimes, if we don't seek out a balance or find it, you know, that can cause us to miss out on blessings ourselves. We have to be open to receive. Just as much as we like to give, we have to make sure that we are on the other end of that as well because we are worthy. We deserve to receive as well. And I just feel like there's a lot of clarity coming in here for many of you in uh, many different situations. I feel like truths are being discovered and it's really allowing for you to see the bigger picture maybe of a situation. Now you have the Eight of Pentacles clarified by the Five of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles is that hard working energy. This talks about what you do on a day to day basis. You're highly skilled at it. It's at the point of mastery. Um, you know, for some of you, you are uh, on your spiritual path and journey right here. You're a master in some area, okay? And I feel like you may be taking your spiritual journey to the next level, so to speak, all right? Now, for some of you, you could be going back to school. You could be going after that master's degree. This could be a techni technical school as well. Um, this could be you taking classes, maybe to make some more money with the career that you already have, but it allows for you to move up maybe in management or higher up with the company that you're already at. Now, we have the Five of Cups here. The Five of Cups oftentimes represents, you know, what loss and disappointments are. Um, sometimes this can represent heartbreak as well. Um, I feel for some of you with this coming up here clarifying this Eight of Pentacles, this could have been a loss of a job, uh, a loss of a career opportunity. But I see you breaking free from this energy. I, I see you not letting this get the best of you, okay? I, I'm just getting this energy. This has already happened, and you chose to see the opportunities that were still available to you. And it's really allowed for you maybe to go in a new direction, okay? Maybe you're going after a career that you truly want, you desire. Maybe this is why uh, whatever this loss was, whether it was the loss of a job, uh, you are choosing to maybe master your skill even more, okay? Going back to school, taking classes. For some of you, this has already happened in the deep past. And because you chose to see the opportunities that were still available to you, you are being able to build up this energy right here of the Eight of Pentacles. You know, the Eight of Pentacles oftentimes represents, you know, that hard your hard work pays off. Making the effort pays off. So you may have recently got a new job or career and you're starting to feel uh, some stability and security and that growth in your situation. Now, we have the full, okay, with the Nine of Cups. The full is the energy of starting a new journey or new beginning in some area of your life, which requires you to take a leap of faith. It requires you to trust and believe in what you're doing, as well as trusting in the universe. And this is you doing this. I feel like whatever you're going after right here that you're taking that leap of faith with, it's something that is like that wish fulfillment because you have the Nine of Cups here, which talks about, you know, you're, you're taking a leap of faith on something that's really going to bring you emotional satisfaction and fulfillment here. It makes you happy, all right? Maybe it does, if this is a career or a job, yes, maybe it doesn't pay as much maybe as what you are making here. That could be what this loss is as well. But nonetheless, you know, it's going to make up, uh, I feel like, because it's going to bring you so much more satisfaction here. Because you're truly being re-inspired by going after something that you're very passionate about. And that's a beautiful energy. All right, you guys. Beautiful energies here. A lot going on. It seems like every day more and more goes on. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love it. All right, I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. And I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.